All right, so after a short wait there, our, um, uh, our mutable deploys are back to all at once deploys, and we can just double check here under the configuration. If we go down here, uh, we should see now it's, at, now it's all at once. So let's move on to blue green deploy. So blue green deploy is when you um, you switch um, environments. So right now we have this environment here, which we can consider our blue environment. And the idea is we're going to spin up an identical uh, environment called our green environment, which will have our latest changes. And once that environment is in good shape, what we'll do is we will swap the URL of the environments. Now this option isn't available to us right now because there's nothing for it to swap to. But once we have that um, other environment, that's how we will uh, make that switch over. So in order to do so, we're gonna go back to Cloud9. And what we need to do is clone this environment, make a copy of it. And we could go in here, and I think we could go right into here and then click Actions and clone the environment. But let's do it through um, the CLI, because again, this is the developer associate. This is the best way to learn. So we're gonna type in EB to, or EB clone. And then it's going to uh, prompt us for the name. I think clone is okay for our case here. So I'll hit enter. Uh, we'll keep the C name the same. And what it's gonna do is um, start up a new um, environment there. So we'll go back to study sync and I'm just gonna give it a refresh. And here we can see that this environment is spinning up. So again, we're gonna have to wait a little bit here and I will see you back momentarily. All right, so after a short wait there, because it's using all at once deployment, uh, we have our production clone environment up. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it's uh, running here, but if we just go back here a second, and I do it a refresh here, we can see now it's green. So uh, don't always trust the AWS console, always refresh and look around because sometimes things are ready and you're just uh, waiting around for nothing. Uh, so if we take a look here at this clone uh, environment following this, uh, this C name here, uh, or the DNS, uh, what do they call it? I'll uh, we'll just say URL. This URL here, we can see that it's running, uh, but we want to make sure that we have a new version here. So this is version one. Uh, so let's just make a superficial change calling it version two, and then see how we can deploy to this new environment and then uh, uh, facilitate the switch. So what I'm gonna do is go back to Cloud9, and I'm gonna make my way over to um, the app, and it's just making some complaints here. So I'm gonna close these tabs. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and open this app.js file. And I'm going to just change this to version two. All right. And so now that I've changed it to version two, I'm going to commit this to the repo. So I'm going to go git add. Well, I'll do git status. We should always do that. We can see the file we want to add. Git add all. Git commit. Change to version two. Uh, we will do a git push. get status all right great so our version two is there so how would we go about deploying to um the the green environment because we have these two environments so if we ran um eb deploy i think by default it's going to deploy to the original environment but if we want to specify the environment we want to deploy to which is the green environment we just have to provide its name so that's called study sync prod clone i'm pretty sure that's the name of it Yep, study sync prod clone. And so this should now deploy uh, the latest changes to this environment. So we'll go ahead and press that there. And it's gonna start up again. We'll just give it a second here. We'll flip back. We will go back to study sync. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a refresh here because something should be changing, probably the prod. Yep, so it's updating. So we will uh, let that deploy there. Um, we'll give that a little bit of time and I will see you back here when that's done and we'll just double check it's version two. And if that's all good, we can do the swap. All right, so um, pushing our changes or version two changes to the clone is done. If we go to this page and refresh. You're gonna notice that uh, there hasn't been any change, but it actually has worked. Uh, this is just an issue with Chrome because if you open up another browser and refresh in Firefox, it says version two for the same URL. So this is a Chrome caching issue. Um, I spent hours upon hours trying to uh, solve this problem and not realizing it's Chrome. So just be aware that anytime you're doing deployments to anything um, and you're checking stuff, always just rule out your browser because sometimes it's not even AWS. So, you know, if we want to get to see the latest version here, I'm going to open up Inspector, make sure you're on network and have disabled cache, do a refresh there, and now it says version two. 
This will not work unless you have this open, this checkbox, and then you do the refresh. All right. Um, but yeah, now that uh, we have figured out how to deploy our second version with blue green deployment, what we can uh, go ahead and do is swap over the environment URL. And so um, we said that what we could do is go to here to actions and go to swap environment URL. And we could go here and choose our other version and swap here. However, um, since this is for the developer associate, I really do want you to get as much experience with the uh, CLI. I'm going to just keep on saying that. And what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, use Cloud9 and use the actual uh, EBCLI to do that. So the command here is EB um, swap. And then we're going to say, um, it could, if we hit enter now, it would prompt us to ask you know, the source and the destination. But I just want to be very explicit here. And I'm going to just type in the source. So I want to swap the prod with the clone. So we'll say study sync prod clone. And this will do exactly the same thing as uh, swapping the URL, URL out here, OK? And I'm just going to hit Enter. Um, unrecognized argument here, clone. Let me just make sure that I spelt that name correctly. I'm just going to go over here and check. Study sync prod clone. Study sync prod clone. Um, Oh, sorry. You know what? Um, I have to provide a flag here. It is um, hyphen hyphen destination name. And now we'll hit enter. And this is going to trigger uh, that swap action there. And so we're just going to have to wait a little bit there. And it says it's completed the swap. Wow, that was really fast. So we'll go back here. And um, if we are to click on prod now, what I want you to notice is this is the clone URL here, right? And we are now in the clone environment. So this used to say clone, but now it says prod. It's taking the original C name from the other um, environment. If we go to the first environment here, this one now has clone. So that's the swap that occurred. So that's how we know that it worked. Uh, now that that swap has occurred, what we want to do is just get rid of our old environment because we know our new environment is running uh, with no problems here. If we just go to prod like this. It's running version two, so we're all good. And so what we need to do is go in here and then just del uh, delete, terminate this environment. But let's do it from the uh, CLI. So we'll go back here to Cloud9. And what we're going to do is type in eb terminate study sync prod. And then it's going to just ask us to confirm it. We'll hit Enter. And that's going to terminate. Now, we're pretty much done with uh, blue-green deployment here. And uh, with that out of the way, we can actually move on to learning how to deploy a single Docker container next. So what we're going to need to do is rip down everything because we do not need even this clone anymore. So I'm going to also terminate this one, but I'm going to do it through the console here. And we need to type its environment name. So I'm just going to copy it here, paste that in, make sure that's right. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for these to uh, shut down here. And when these are both terminated, we'll move on to the next step, which is deploying um, a single container Docker environment to Elastic Beanstalk.